Hello. Hello. Today with the board, I would like to talk about uh, component one, two, three. Uh, it's a solution based on the balling method. We would like to tell you how to use it, how to effectively dose it in your reef tanks. There is no one simple formula to every 100 liters or every 100 gallons. Every tank is different. So to find out what exactly your tank needs, first of all, I'd advise you to make a simple test. How much your tank absorbs of the main parameters by day, for example. So in the beginning of the first day, you make a test with the test kit with from Aqua Forest. You can make a cage, so is that mean the alkanity, calcium and magnesium. So you measure in the morning where are the level of these parameters and without dosing anything, you can do the same next day. This way you will compare these two measurements and you will know what will be your consumption daily. What is important about component one to three is that it's not contain only macro elements like calcium, magnesium or alkalinity, it contains all trace elements that your tank will need. Our customer loves this product because it's a one of the products that almost everybody will need it. And this is a plug and play product, how I like to name it. You just bring it home, plug it to your dosing pump, find a way dosage that you will, your tank will need it, and just done. You don't need to add any other micro elements in your tank. So what we should do if, for example, your calcium is rising faster than your magnesium? If one or two parameters are still at balance, we recommend to continue with administrating equal doses of each component and take advantage of one of our additives in form of powders, calcium, magnesium, cage buffer, or ready-to-use solution CA+, MG+, and KH+, to restore the desired levels. The right dosage should be based of your daily consumption of the main parameters. It is extremely important when you use component one to three or any other products that will raise your calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity to make regular water test. We recommend to use our test kits for calcium, magnesium and alkalinity. And if you want to know more about composition of your water, I recommend you to make an ICP test, very accurate and very precise test made in a laboratory. Let's assume that you measure salinity at 35 ppt. Your refractometer that you have shows you that. But in reality, you could have, for example, 37. So what happened then? Based on that, you will find your all parameters like calcium, magnesium, all that you have in the water, macro elements, trace elements, will be much, much higher. We recommend you to find on the market the right tools to measure the salinity the refractometers that are made to measure the seawater, not the salt water. Salt water is made for food industry and it's, it will not show you the same result. I would like to show you how correctly prepare solutions based on ballet method using aquaforest products. Aquaforest has a full line of products to maintain macro and micro elements in your reef aquaria. I will prepare two part solution, classic balling methods, using this product. Calcium, to maintain the calcium level in your tank. Cage buffer, to keep a stable alkalinity level in your tank. 
magnesium to raise magnesium level. Reef mineral salt contains all mineral salts required to maintain mineral level in your reef tank. And we have component strong as highly concentrated trace elements. Two-part solution doesn't consist of maintaining calcium and KH levels. That's why you can prepare a two-part solution dissolving calcium and the second fluid KH buffer. In one liter Rio DI water, dissolve 50 grams of calcium and mix it until it's full dissolved. After that, add 5 ml of strong A. And 5 ml of strong B. In one liter Rio DI water, dissolve 80 grams of KH buffer and mix it until it's full dissolved. Add 5 ml of strong C. In one liter of rio DUA water, dissolve 25 grams of reef mineral salt and 10 grams magnesium and mix it until it's full dissolved and add 5 milliliters of strong K.
Aquaphorous Reef Mineral Salt is a sodium chloride, NaCl, free sea salt. It contains all the other basic components found in natural seawater, such as magnesium, calcium, potassium, bromide, fluorine, barium, iodine, and trace elements. NaCl free salt is the one of the most important components of the Balling method. It plays a significant role in calcium chloride and sodium bicarbonate supplementation is in place. It is a common misconception among reefers that administrating NaCl free salt is primarily supposed to be replenished trace elements. The main task of sodium chloride's free salt is to maintain an ionic balance of aquarium water. Many aquarists mistakenly assume that this issue can be easily corrected by regular water changes. Summarizing. Using aquaphorous products, you can keep stable your major elements using two-part solution, it's calcium and KH buffer, three-part solution, it's calcium, KH buffer, magnesium, reef mineral salt, and component strong, or ready-to-use component one, two, three plus.